Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. This is a value mixture problem that I'm going to solve using one variable because we're looking for one thing, the selling price of a mixture. So here's the problem. Find the selling price per quart of a mixture made from 13 quarts of punch costing 80 cents a quart with 7 quarts of soda costing $1.20 per quart. So I am mixing punch with soda. So let's draw a little picture of that. Let's say that's our vat of punch. And we're going to pour that in to a mixture it also has some soda, so we have a mix over here. All right, now what do we know? Do we know how much punch we're going to be using? Well, it says right here that we want, we've got 13 quarts of punch. Okay, so that's given, so we could fill that in. And what about the soda? Well, we've got seven quarts of soda. So we could also fill that in right here. So do we know how much liquid is in the mixture? Well, we're pouring in 13 quarts plus seven quarts. We have a total of 20 quarts. Now, what about the unit price or cost? In other words, how much for each quart is that given? Well, the punch right here costs 80 cents. The punch costs 80 cents. All right, so what can we put here? Well, I could either do this in dollars, which would be 0.8, or I could do it in cents and write 80. But whatever, if you do that for the punch, you have to do the same thing for the soda. So I'm going to do it in cents, so I don't have any decimals. So I'm going to say it's 80 cents per quart. So my unit price is really in cents. All right, what about the soda? So it says, I've got seven quarts of soda, what? Costing $1.20 per quart. Oops, that was kind of dark. Hopefully you could read that a little bit better. Now, this is given in dollars and cents, $1.20. We did the unit price in cents, so instead of writing 1.20, we're just going to write 120. Now, to get the price of the mixture, you don't add these numbers together. It wouldn't make, make sense if the mixture would cost more than the expensive drink. In fact, that's what we're looking for. It says find the selling price per quart of the mixture. So that could be a variable. Any letter you want to use, I'm going to go ahead and use X. Remember that is going to cost, that is the unit price of the mixture. So how much is it if we had just bought the punch and soda? Well, it's 13 times 80, and my answer is going to be in cents. So the total cost, and everything is in cents still, okay, will be because you've got 80 cents per quart, so it's 80 times 13 or 13 times 80. It doesn't matter what you put first. I'm just going to put the 13 times 80. Same thing for the soda. It's $1.20 or 120 cents for each of the seven quarts, so that's going to be seven times 120. So the actual cost of the punch and the soda is going to be the sum of these. And what about for the mixture? Same thing. We don't know the price, that's what we're looking for, but it's got to be how many quarts times the price per quart, so that'll be 20x. And those must be equal to each other. So now we have this equation to solve. So I have to do 13 times 80, that's 1,040, plus 7 times 120, that's 840, equals 20x. So let's see, if I add on the side here, I get, on the left side, I got 1880 equals 20x. Now I'll just divide both sides by 20 to isolate the variable, 
and I get 94 equals x, or x equals 94. Now let's go back and remember what x stood for. x, what did that stand for? It stood for the unit price in cents of the mixture. So that's exactly what we are looking for, so it looks like the answer is going to be the mixture sells for 94 cents a quart. I think that's what we're looking for. But of course, I'm going to check and make sure that would make sense. All right. So let's see here. What's the real price of the punch in dollars and cents? So I'm going to take this picture here I have and reproduce it so we could do our check. All right, so this is what I had before, and we just found out x was 93, so this is 93, okay? Now I'm going to do things in terms of, you know, money, which we usually write with decimal points. So this is really 80 cents a quart, this is really a dollar twenty, and that's really 93 cents per quart. So let's find out the real amount of money this ends up costing right here. It would be 13 times 0.8, this would be 7 times 1.2, now, you could write 0 .80 and you could write 1.20, doesn't matter. But what does that come out to in dollars and cents? This would be $10.40, and this would be $8.40. So the cost, if you bought the punch and soda separately, you just add those numbers up, and that's $18.80. Okay, so if you had bought the punch and soda, right, 13 quarts of punch, 7 quarts of soda at these prices, it cost $18.80. Is that the same as just buying all 20 quarts at 93 cents a quart? So what's 0.93 times 20? Well, that actually, actually is also $18.80. And by the way, if this confuses you that I put 0.8, go ahead and just write it like that doesn't really matter. But in terms of money, that's what you're checking. So it checks, so what we wrote for our answer up here is correct. The mixture sells for 94 cents a quart, or you could do it in dollars and cents, and write it like that. perfectly okay either way, because it means the same thing. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.